Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another Let's Defend video. We are going to be doing SOC 138 Detected Suspicious XLS File Event Number 77 with a type that is malware. Okay, so let's get into it. Event time happened March 13th, 2021. Rule, like I said, source address 172.16.17.56 with the host name being Sophia, the file name order sheet and spec.xlsm. We, now we got the hash and the file size and the device action was allowed. Okay, so here is the file. If we see at the bottom left corner of the screen, that is the URL for the file. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, create the case. And right away, I'm just going to open in a couple tabs just to have that ready because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need them. Okay, so let's start the playbook. Threat indicator, unknown or unexpected outgoing internet traffic, antivirus program malfunctioning or becoming disabled, Unknown or unexpected services and application configured, configured to launch automatically on system boot. So, I do not know that much about the threat yet. Or, not the close. There we go. Alright. So, what I'm going to do here, I am going to copy link address. And I'm going to open up open it, any run. Think if I can run this really quickly let's see how do I get to the Nini is that in the way all right here we go so analyze URL. I will paste that there. And yeah, we'll just do Windows 10. And we'll go ahead and run a public analysis. Let that load up already. Oh my goodness. 27 DNS request 30. Hmm. Through connections, a lot of these executables. Well, I think while that's going on, I'm also going to open virus total and I will put that in virus total just to see what I get. Five flagged is malicious. Okay. Serving IP, is that the same one? Oh, they didn't give it to us, okay. Let's see what this has, 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six. So right away, it's XLS is the Excel file. Believe, and yeah, order sheet, inspect.xlsm. So let's see what this came up with says zero threats but to be honest I kind of doubt that embedding I know embedding is very frowned upon when it comes to these type of files so let's see nothing connections let's see 46 of them HTTP requests, they were all okay. Let's see, yeah, this one is making it seem like there is no threat, but like I said, since I looked it up here on virus total and it got flagged, I mean, even here, just untitled window popped up and something began to download, so. A zip file, that's not good. So, four, here we go. 
output unknown or unexpected services application configure to launch automatically on system boot. Yeah, let's go with it. Pop in there. I guess that worked. Check if the malware is quarantine slash clean. So we will go to the log management. Um, I will put in the source IP address. See what comes up. When did it happen? March 13th. So here we got two for March 13th. Let's see. Destination address. Oh, wow. Let's go to basic. Put that in again. There we go. So I can be able to see the raw. Okay. Okay. Um, that is interesting. So source address, destination address. I'm going to take that and I will open a new tab in virus total and I'm going to put that address in there and see what I get nothing a negative one community square that's interesting um, so I'm guessing yeah that's just the one that it starts to communicate with and now let's check on the endpoint itself so Fia. So one process that was from a different time. Terminal. What is that? Power show. Oh wow. That's a very long command line. And browser history no log. Okay, so it doesn't seem. Check if the malware is quarantined slash cleaned. So it was allowed. The endpoint seemed secure. Given this, as a Let me see something here. Put in the hash, just gonna scan everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Trojan. Man. 43 out of 65, that's crazy. Okay. Um but yeah, still checking them out where it's quarantine slash cleaned. It is not quarantined. Analyze malware and third party tool and find C2 address. I did that already. Um, which one? Oh, I got rid of it already, huh? Okay. Um, let us go back. I'm pretty sure that that was it, but here we go. This one I'm looking for. Um, C2 address. What did I monitor at first? I can't even remember. Oh, yes. Copy link address. Details. And let me see if I can get serving IP address. Let's see what happens when I press on that. So none. I'm going to assume that that is actually the IP address that it's looking for. But overall, I would say that it is malicious. Check if someone requested the C2 because the law manager check if the C2 address access. You can check if the malicious file is run by searching the C2 address of the malicious file. Let's see. Okay. Well, I'll try this one first. 
And where's the log version? Peace. No, of course, yeah. We silly of me. Let's put it in virus total. Actually it comes out clean. So where is the other one that I had? Details. Copy. There we go. And go back to the log management. I doubt that it's going to be in there, but yeah, it's not. Okay, so please click access if someone access the malicious address. Um, so because it also said allowed, I'm going to assume that it was access, so I will put access. Um, contain, okay, go ahead and contain Sophia. Change. Network action allow processes. This is the one process, but that's from a different time. Okay and next that is done so from here i will put in the file hash um, and then i will put in the link Uh, that is the URL. Um, oh, do not mean to do that. Go back. Screw it. You're going away. You done messed up, Aaron. Connections. So many. So many IP addresses. Okay, what am I looking for here? I uh, was going to do that is the file name. What are the other options you can have in here? IP address, email, email sender. So it wasn't an email, it's just a link. And I'll just add that in there. And list notes. I'll put malicious link exact access and endpoint endpoint was contained next finish let's see what happens which I guess this one close alert true positive um since it was a true positive um Axioms actions were taken to, I would say, contain endpoint I'll just put that for now. Go ahead, close that alert. Boom. Wow. All right then, so there you go. The answer, it is a true positive. That's five points. The playbook answers, check if someone requested the C2. If yes, analyze it. it. was malware. Check if it was quarantine slash cleaned. It was not, so I went ahead and did that. And actions were taken to contain endpoint device. Yeah, that's my note right there. And so there you go. That is a walkthrough of the SOC-138 Detected Suspicious XLS file. I hope that if anyone had trouble that they can get the help they need from it. I hope that you just enjoyed the content in general. I enjoy doing these things. They're really fun. Less Defend actually upgraded their website recently. Um, I was doing a little bit more learning earlier and I really enjoyed it and I liked uh, the way they changed the layout a bit, but overall it looks pretty good. All right, so like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.